So welcome back to the Impact Arena here in Montibori, just north of Bangkok, the Thai capital. It's our home for three consecutive weeks. How lucky are we? World-class badminton for three weeks. And it's semi-finals day today at the Toyota Thailand Open. We've had five matches already and another five semi-finals to come. Well, our next match will be mixed doubles and it features the number four seed, Sir Xiong Jae and Che Yu Jung. Two left-handers playing together and a surprise semi-finalist, Hu Pang Ron and Chi E C of Malaysia. After that, it will be an all Danish men's singles with uh, a man promoted from the reserve list, Hans Christian Wittinghus against Anna's Antonsen, the world championship silver medalist. Following that will be women singles and two players who have been top of the world rankings. It's the current world number one, Tai Su Ying, beaten finalists here last week up against the two-time former winner of a Thailand Open, Ratchanuk Intanon, who also happens to be a former world champion. After that, we'll have mixed doubles and the world championship silver medalists, Puavaranukro and Teirat Tanachai, trying to achieve something very, very special indeed because they're looking to reach the final of all three Super 1000 events in the 2020 HSBC BWF World Tour calendar year. It really is extraordinary. Beaten in the final of the All England, of course, and they were winners last week, so trying to reach their third Super 1000 final in this World Tour calendar year. But then in the last of our semi-finals, uh, there is a man trying to win all three Super 1000 events because Victor Axelsson won the All England. He won last week. And the former world champion and world number one, uh, Victor Axelsson, who looks to be in great form. He has the world number two, Cho Tien Chen, in his way. And Cho Tien Chen won this event back in 2019. So an absolutely terrific lineup still to come. And when we look at the mixed doubles, we can see that this is the first of our semi-finals. But when we look at the quarter-final stage, two pairs from Thailand, two from Malaysia, two from Korea. So uh, five different nationalities involved, but only four seeds, uh, two in each half of the draw. But by semi-final stage, uh, the, the two seeds have come through, one in each half. And uh, this, the first of the semi-finals. And out first are the seeded combination, the two left-handers, Su Sang Jae and Chia Yu Jung. Second semi-final in as many weeks for the Koreans. Uh, for the Malaysian pair, well, it's new territory for them uh, because this is their first semi-final at this level of event. And let me point out, it is only their second ever Super 1000 event. The first being last week. And here they are in the semi-final. It really has been a terrific time for the Malaysians. In fact, I called their first round match last week at the Yonex Thailand Open. And I was very impressed. They actually lost the eventual champions, Puavaranukro and Teirat Tanachai. And I said during commentary how much they had improved okay. and how well we they were playing. Like well, this, as you can see, is the first red meeting between these two pairs. Yes, black. Your choice. Yeah. Court, that court, serve or receive? And that is She's easy. Serving. Who is receiving? I didn't even need Morton okay. there to tell me what was happening. Because... I could see that the Malaysians won the toss and chose ends. And that could be very important because Morton and I have been sitting watching the previous semi-finals and there is still a little bit of a drift. But I'm sure these players, now well into the second week of competition here at the Impact Arena, I'm sure they're all well aware of the drift by now. So, last week he was in two semi-finals. He lost them both. One semi-final this week. And Suo Sung Jae will be obviously hoping to progress through to the final. 
He's 23 years of age, uh, born in the Jeju, and he and his partner currently were ranked six in the world, and that's the highest they've been. But you did see that he has been slightly higher with previous partner. Che Yu Jung is 25 years of age from Busan, right in the south of the country. And uh, by my calculations, uh, by reaching this semi-final, they book their place in the World Tour Finals next week, even though they're only number 15 on the list at the moment. Looking at their matches so far, I played against uh, Mickelson and Suvu in the first round. The European Games bronze medalists, Alimov and Dabliatova in the second round. In the quarter-final, my goodness, against Jomko and uh, Pilsenplan of Thailand had to save a game point in the opening game before winning 24, 22, 21, 18 in the second game. Well, what an occasion for the young Malaysians. Hu Pangrong is 22 years of age, born in the Thai, in the uh, Malaysian the capital of Kuala Lumpur. Now, I had that they had been as high as number 33 in the world ranking as a combination. Uh, but Chia Yisi has been higher when she played with Chan Peng Soon. And that's when Go Liu Ying was undergoing shoulder surgery. I think it was sh shoulder and rather than her knees at the time. Correct. But as far as their matches are concerned, well, first uh, round against the married couple, three games against uh, Sumit and Siki Reddy of India. Second round, they beat Jikel and Delru, who were semi-finalists last week. And this week, as we look at our court officials, this week, the French pair beat Jordan and Octavianti, who were in the final a week ago. And the quarter final, the Malaysian Ladies youngsters built, beat the number six right, seeds, the 2018 winners, Yiki. Faisal. And Wajaya in three games. And on my left, So Sung Ja and Cha Yu Jung, Korea. Cha Yu Jung to serve to Chia Yi Si. Love all. Play. <laughs> so the number four seeds, the two left handers, So Sung Ja <laughs> and Chia Yu Jung. One, love. And. It would be a little extraordinary if the young Malaysians weren't a little bit nervous, Morton. <laughs> yeah, I would say so, I agree. But um, they, they're quite cool, quite calm. And, uh, <coughs> and uh, you know, I, I think they will grow with it. Maybe <coughs> here in the beginning yeah. of the opening game, it can be a little bit shaky, but I, I think they will grow with it. But they are up against a good pair from, yeah. from Korea. It's a tall order. It's gone long. Well, this is a third Super 1000 Three. semi final for the Korean combination, but they've never progressed beyond a semi final. So, looking to reach a first final at this level, and obviously the Malaysians also, because uh, this is their first semi final at this level. Oh, but it's been a good start by the number four seeds. Four. Yeah, the Malaysians are finding it tough to find the the proper length on their shots. I think it's three of the four points that's going out on the back line. Five, love. Good return of serve. That'll help one. settle the nerves. Five. Yeah, I like that uh, Hu Pang Run really tried to play this one tight. I, I know it sort of clipped the top of the tape, but he was really going for a tight shot. Oh. 
Morton has gone wide. It's terribly difficult, Morton, isn't it? Because what do you say to that a mixed over. doubles pair that you suspect are going to be nervous when they're playing in their first semi-final at this sort of level? If it was women's doubles or, or men's doubles, I know when I was nervous, I used to try and smash uh, the feathers off the shuttle <laughs> in the first three or four rallies just to settle the nerves. Yes. But you can't in mixed doubles because mixed doubles is all about the little skills and the little pushes and so on. Yes. You can't do that. No, so I what agree. do you do? I, I would say if, if I was the coach of the two youngsters, I would say go in there and please do enjoy it. You know, yeah, please I, do enjoy I it. I know. I, um, yes, and people have said that to me before. And well you know my character and i yeah. sort of thought oh well that's very nice of you but how on earth can i enjoy it i'm nervous <laughs> yeah, yeah. i agree with you but yeah. no don't put too many expectations on <gasps> go in and play your very best you're the underdogs and uh, you are here at a, a so very so great location and just get the best so. of it yeah and um, I, I think that that's that's what it's all about um, they can play completely freely they d have no expectations on their shoulders at all yeah serve from Chao Yujin. like the way she's finding that gap at so the mid-court area. Eight. Beautiful. Nine. He's still nervous. Understandable. Eleven two interval. Well, it really is being one way traffic at the moment. 11-2, the advantage to the number four seeds. And only four minutes played. Well, the Korean coach has already had her say. Do Kim what you've been doing. <laughs> yeah, Kim Ji-hyun. <laughs> yeah, don't change a thing. 20 seconds. 20 Paulus Fearman, coach of the Malaysians. It's interesting, Morton, because from everybody outside of this match, the Badminton Association of Malaysia, the media, us, we're looking at this and saying to the Malaysian pair, you've got nothing to lose because there's no expectations. But they themselves... You know, people Whoa! possibly said that before they played their quarterfinal against Faisal and Wajaya. You know, you've got nothing to lose. And yet they can they can win. They can well, they beat them, obviously. Others, yeah. Otherwise they wouldn't they be wouldn't, here. Yeah. They wouldn't be here. Yes. So they themselves may be putting pressure on them. Yeah, that's, of course, when you, when you walk on courts, it, I usually say, even though you're the only one in the whole world that may be believed that you can win, you must believe that you can win. Yes. Good. Even if the whole world do not believe, you have to believe that you yeah. can do it. And of course, when they walk on court, they will be excited, looking forward to it, and say, OK, let's go and do the best we can. And uh, this uh, opening game is just already quite beyond them, I think. It's yeah. all about getting points and uh, getting ready for the second game. 13-2 is simply a too big gap. Yeah. Well, that was beautifully taken off the top of the tape by Chair Yu Jung. Okay, so 15. we know they're nervous. 
but tactically should they focus on something to to try and get themselves into a rhythm before the start of the second game the Malaysians right. um, I think they they have to focus on trying to get the attack if they uh, the Korean combination is, is quite an attacking combination yeah. they, they love to attack however you, you have to, to when you beat them you have to force them into defense uh, uh, counter-attacking like what uh, Pang Ron was doing here. Over yeah. three, um, so they have to find the gaps they have to find ways of playing these softer shots in order to get the lifts and that's what uh, yeah. Chia Yu Si was trying when she's been trying a few times to block even though that Chia Yu Jung was standing there yeah um not been successful but i think it's still the right way forward yeah, this is a better rally out. Oh! much better rally yeah. good keeping the uh, initiative keeping the control of the rally for pang run did Three. very well on that Pity. Yeah, chances so over. for Sixteen. that flick serve to go Four. out uh, played with the drift yeah probably not the best answer Good placement right. of the smash. She got in a tangle, didn't she? Chia Yu Jung. Yeah, committed to forehand defence. But well spotted by Pang Run. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Six. Seventeen. Getting a lot, lot better now Seven. from uh, the two Malaysians. Growing a bit in confidence here. Chia Yu Si at the front. Put it away quite nicely. It's not an easy shot. It looks like an easy one, but it's not so easy actually. <laughs> yeah, they work well as a combination, the Seven Koreans, silver. don't they? They do. Good understanding. Seven. And the beauty for the uh, combination is that uh, Si, si Sung Jae do not have to worry about defence in, in a way that he doesn't need to cover his partner. She's very strong in her defence. She's, she's keeping her, her defensive stance quite forward and, and is quite aggressive in her defence. And she's playing well. Yeah. Um, we see a lot where the, the male partner is trying to cover um, the female and uh, so over here he doesn't need to 19, do so. no. eight. But then when they're up against the really big hitters, then she's in trouble. Nine, well, I'm really pleased that the Malaysians have found a bit of rhythm before the start of the second game. As you say, Morton, I think this opening game is well beyond them, but yeah. they needed these few rallies to just relax them and get their spatial awareness, get their timing going. Yeah, but I think it's also interesting where they're not 11 2 down at the interval. Yes, they were. So it's over so 20. No, they game are. Boy, 
Nine. They're nine seven down in the second half of mm. this opening game, which of course shows that it's uh, a lot lot closer now. Yeah, good play from Xiao Yujong. Game yeah. and the opening game on the first game point opportunity. Game, one by Xiao Sun Jai and Xiao Yujong. Twenty one nine. 21-9, confirmed by the umpire. This is the final rally. Yeah, they have been sharp, the Koreans. And I think it was really re well spotted by uh, coach Pang Tichang in, uh, in Malaysia when the uh, selection trials were on for uh, new players into BAM. He, uh, he was the one that was really backing Pang Run and said, you know, I think he's got potential. I think he's the one that we need to, to bring in. And uh, I think that was really well spotted by Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. So it's absolutely oh, imperative game. that Love the all. Malaysian pair get a better start Twelve. to this Twelve. second game than they did in the first. Over Morton, one but, uh, love. the Korean pair, Su so Sang Jae and Che Yu Jung, and the World Tour standings went up six places from 21 to 15 after last week's tournament. And by my calculations, uh, the fact that they've reached the semi final That's and enough. possibly yeah. better is they yeah, win another over. game of course One. they'll be in the final oh. they've qualified for the world tour finals that's fantastic right. they didn't seem to be anywhere near it no but it of course come down to the fact that not so many tournaments played in, in yes of course year. yeah hey. oh yes that is yeah. lovely so it's over two one Big, big gap. Yeah, Pang Ron moving very quickly to cover the mid-court area. I like the little blo uh, blocked backhand ah! there from Hu Pang, Pang Rong. It was, Four, there was nothing on it, but one. it was just going in a downward direction. Yeah, he's good keeping the initiative and he's good to find, uh, good finding the gaps um, in uh, at the front of the court of his opponents. Ah! Yeah, it's good pressure. Yeah. Pressurizing Chessie. Two, four. Yeah. Oh, 
that's great play. Uh, look at how he's closing that mid-court area down. Seven Moving silver. forward, side Five. by side with the Chinese. This one here, and then the next one. Really closing that gap nicely down on the backhand side. Yeah, well taken. I was very interested in what you were saying the other Seven day, silver, Morton, three, about uh, Champeng Soon yeah. uh, playing with Chi Yisi yes. and how he worked really hard and helped her a lot. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that sort of hard work, I mean, now they're in competition with each other, the, those two <laughs> players. But, uh, but it's nice that the older generation help and pass on the knowledge to the younger generation. I, I couldn't agree with you more and, and that's also why it was so remarkable. Everybody in, in BAM saw how hard they worked together and how Four, he just passed on the uh, the knowledge the whole time and, and it was it was really fantastic and well done by Peng Sun. is so well taken isn't it five oh absolute commitment at the front of the court almost seems to launch herself she does launch herself towards the net to play that kill yeah but it's well spotted i think she's noticed that uh, hu pang run favors these uh, block shots on his return oh, oh. so it's over six five Powerful smash. Uh, no Silver, doubt that uh, EC's defense is, oh. uh, is under attack. On many occasions already, it's not been holding up her defense. That last one, was it because she was still backing off? Yes. So you've, got to, you've got to sort of stop and you've yeah. got to crouch down low and, and be ready for the receiving the smash. It's over. Seven, six. Oh, oh yeah, he hit his partner. <laughs> uh, she's all right. She is okay. So we saw that. She did the right thing. She was focused, oh. you know, watching forward. So ah. trouble is arising if, you know, she's turning her face and, yes. and looking yeah. at what her partner is doing. But she's doing the right thing. Whoa. Whoa. So we saw that. Eight, seven. Well, it's pretty much point for point at the moment, isn't it? Uh, it's a much, much better start from uh, the two young Malaysians here. Again, so the defense from it shall you see not so strong silver, enough. Eight. Oh. Give it a few more years, I think uh, that defense will be much, much better. Yeah, Longest rally so far. Eight, oh. Oh, 
That's a great serve, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's not too shabby either. Well played from Shea. Nine, eight. Oh, yeah. he thought about leaving him. It's a good serve. As we normally say, perfect. If your opponent is in doubt. Oh, yeah, it's a good smash. To take it. Yeah, good pressure. So it's over. Nine. Oh. I think uh, Seo Sung Jae is, is doing right rather than going cross court the whole time and this time he's also a bit out of balance much rather go down the line and i think he's doing very right in doing so here <laughs> Ten. Nine. First time they've been in the lead in this second game As someone I know would say, it's not how you start, <laughs> but it's how you finish that matters. It, you're <laughs> Morton. I'm glad you listen to me occasionally. Oh, I, I listen all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to the mid-game interval. interval. On a run of three straight points and a two-point advantage for the number four seed, Seo Sung Jae and Che Yu Jung. In the middle, please. In the middle. Yeah, it was ambitious idea. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Yeah. Eleven, nine. Play. So important, I feel, for the Malaysians to stop this little run of points. It's only three straight points, but the psychological advantage, I think, is immense. <laughs> 12, 12. Well, I know 10. the Malaysians won the rally 12. there, Morton, but they were on the defensive the whole time. Yeah, they were, I wouldn't say lucky to win it, but uh, if you want to put money on that rally, I would say it would go to the Koreans. Yes. You know, they were completely yeah. controlling it. Um, but it was a, a good 10. missed opportunity 12. there by Yeo Sung Jae. So given what you were saying a little earlier, that the Malaysians had to try and get themselves on the attack. And if they were, were forced to defend, use the counter-attack. Oh, that's a pity. That's short so of the over. service line. 13. That's okay. a second service error. Good work. It is. She's very quick at the front. Chai, you see. Ah! 14. 10. Six of the last seven points to the Koreans. 
but that's also what I like a lot when I'm watching uh, Cha Yu Jong play. I, I also think that she's very active at the front. Yeah. Great awareness from Chair Yu Jung. Oh dear, is he all right? Uh, he's okay, but I'm sure he burnt his hip a bit. Mm. Yeah. Wouldn't happen to us, would it? We'd just bounce. We've got a bit of padding there. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't even react. <laughs> Those days are over. Long gone. Yes. I'm not sure they ever were for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's great effort, though. I, I love to see the, the players Definitely. throwing themselves around the court in an effort to retrieve the shuttle. Now, I think we need to be a little discreet here. Oh, cameraman. Can you wipe here, please? Yeah. Give him a bit of privacy, I think. Mm. Yeah, landed right on that hip bone. Well, one feels that this has been a really de decisive phase from 8-9 down to 15-10 up for the Koreans. Ah! It's awesome. Fantastic. What 16, an angle. 10. Eight of nine points now. Play. No. No. Service over. Eleven. Sixteen. No now or never isn't it Morton yeah they need to catch up they close the, g uh, the gap here yeah. at least uh, two or three points oh. Oh. and the way to do that 12. is all out attack 16 yeah and that wasn't even particularly hard was it it in fact, it was probably uh, very clever not hitting that hard because then the timing on the defence of Seo Seung Jae yeah. was going to be out. And that's a great serve. 30, Lovely serve. 60. Well, they needed to respond, and indeed they are. Play by Chai Yu Jung. Awesome play. How she defended that one and turned it into an attacking situation. That she did so well. Yeah, yeah. stood her ground on the defence initially. did. Thank you. And then once she got the good drive away, that one, then she moves forward. Yeah, brilliant. 17-30. Pretty good, isn't it? Over. Dispatched 14. very efficiently. 
Oh, good play. Yeah. Well, it was the wonderful play by Chi Yi Si. And that net shot that set up the rally for her partner. Yeah, this one's coming here. Yes, this that one. one. That's perfect. Play. Just two points in it. Service over. 18-15. Well, there's no challenge. Yes. Players, both sides serve and receive quickly, okay? Play. Play. Yeah, she's blocked to move forward yeah. again. It's nice, she isn't did. it? She did, she did. Yeah, it's a good rally, 19, but out of position in the 50. end. Here you see. So two points away, the Korean combination 19, from their first 18. ever Super 1000 what? final. Oh. <laughs> Make that one point away. 20, match point, 50. This is a great learning experience for the two Malaysian players and I'm sure they will go back <laughs> in training and bring a lot from this match. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's also a pair that all the other top players, pairs, are going so to take note 16, of from now on. 20. I mean, they've beaten the number six seeds to get here. They beat Jikil and Delorou who are a very fine mixed doubles pair. Uh, people are not want, going to want to play against them in early rounds of tournaments. They're a tricky pair. They are, and they have played really well. They have improved a lot. Yeah. Oh, oh. 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 So, through to their first Super 1000 final, and they actually won it in terrific Max style. The number four Kehu seeds. 21-9, Semi-finalists of last year's All England Championships, semi-finalists last week at the Yonex Thailand Open, and now through to the final of the Toyota Thailand Open Super 1000 event. 21-9, 21-16. And they were impressive throughout. 36 minutes in total for their victory.
So, welcome back to the Impact Arena. 